Otis Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Let me get myself together. I'm kind of a hot mess tonight. <laughs> we have so many things going on. Oh my gosh. So I did not post that I was going to be live. I just popped in here because I am in the middle of making cheesy hash browns and brownies, which I pray to God that Steve comes in the house in about 15 minutes to get the brownies out of the oven. And if he doesn't, we're going to have a slight intermission so I can go grab them and take them out and come back, run back in here. So I hope you guys have had a good day. Happy Thursday. Um, it's been busy here today. I was working pretty much on I designed my Technique Club cards and I'm working on getting all that cut and I printed tons of, um, where's my, these are my thank you labels to go on my thank you cards for March's orders and I have my labels on my Technique Club envelope. So I had a whole bunch of things to do, running reports and all kinds of stuff. So, um, oh, these are the gifts. I have to give these prizes tomorrow. And I see Chris Wood did contact me, but I didn't have a chance to get back to you yet, Chris. She won yesterday. So I see lots of you popping in here tonight. I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Haley. Haley was here all day. She was making scrapbook pages again. And I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow to show you because, um, of course, her page that she made today is amazing. And she's like, oh, I think I might get both pages done today. Yeah, well, she didn't. Because <laughs> all that fabulous scrapbooking takes time, right? So, yes, Joe, you're so cute. <laughs> Joe says, hello, my beautiful crafting queen. I almost forgot to put my crown on and change my glasses so I could read what you guys were saying to me. I'm going to get you pulled up on my screen here so we can flip you around. So, I am going to share with you guys tonight the... Um, technique card that I'm making for my technique club. I'll tell you a little bit about that. Let me see if I can find my, hang on just a second. I've got technique club cards here that I'll show you when I flip the screen around because it's pretty cool. My technique club is something that I do online each month. Um, I post a video and it's usually just one of my videos. So I'll do a technique in one of my videos and then that'll be my technique for the month. But um, tonight we're going to play with some vellum. And it's a very simple technique. There's nothing complicated about it. And it may be like, a, oh, that's your technique. But it's all about having the instruction card because while this technique is easy, I often forget about it. Where if I can go back through my instruction sheets, you, don't, you can go, oh, this would be great to make a card with. So I think that's what's really helpful. I'm going to get my live up on the screen here. My computer cooperates. I haven't been having any problems, but I do have to tell you guys what I did. So Haley had Steve's iPad in here, and I took it and put it in the kitchen over on his side of the counter where he keeps some of his stuff. I set it on the counter, and I was getting the, um, the spray Pam out of the cupboard for the brownies, and a, one of the cans fell out of the cupboard and smashed his screen on his iPad. Like if I would have just left his iPad in here instead of putting it away, or if I would have put it face down, the can fell smack. That's what his screen did. Yeah, Jean says, is it July yet? I wish it was July, but it's not. And so I haven't told Steve yet that I smashed his iPad, but I bought it for him, so I guess I'll be buying him a new one. I was thinking of getting one, but not anymore. I don't know why I need one, quite frankly. I don't understand my need. I, I I can take my laptop every place. It's very small and portable. So I'm like, I don't know why I would need an iPad. But anywho, um, I'm gonna. I know I see all the angry faces coming up. Thank you for sharing in my anger. I know Haley. I broke your dad's iPad, but I didn't tell him yet. I'll tell him later. Anyway, Steve is cooking racks of ribs are in our oven right now. Our whole house is smoked up. We've got windows and doors open trying to clear it out because they're, you know, that when they cook, they like splatter in the oven and they create all kinds of smoke. So it's pretty crazy. Anyhow, I'm going to get my camera flipped around right away because Haley and Jared are due here at 6 p.m. And I want to make sure that I have 
giving you guys some great stamping ideas for the day and then I'm gonna call her quits so that I can enjoy my family because they're the only two people that can come over <laughs> and we love them so don't don't get me wrong I'm not going like oh they're the only two that can come over that's I'm like excited and I want maybe we're gonna play a game after dinner I'm, I'm excited about that and I'm making um, fresh brownies so we'll have warm brownies with vanilla ice cream and I might even shave some chocolate on top I know I like doing fancy stuff like that so <laughs> Tundra just said oh my gosh my husband now recognizes your voice he just walked in the room and said is that Kelly <laughs> I love it. I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys about husbands acknowledging me. So I appreciate that, husbands. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to flip right now. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm going to get you flipped down so I can show you what I came up with tonight. I made a bunch of cards. And, of course, you guys know that I really like to do that, make um, a bunch of cards like in different colors. And in this case, I just use different designer series paper. So we are going to be using the little flower dies from the Ornate Border dies. And I know these are on back order right now, I think. I don't even know. I'm, I just won't, I didn't even check because it's like, ugh, whatever. But if you happen to have these, great. If you don't, any little flower dies will work. And then I'm using the stamp sets, both the stamp sets that go with this. So just these little flowers and then both stamp sets. And then... I am pulling in, this is like my feature, is the gorgeous paper. And I thought, oh, this will be so pretty for what I want to do. So even though Blushing Bride is not a coordinating color, it matches really good. This is Blushing Bride, like that lighter color, this lighter color, those are all Blushing Bride. So that's what I chose for my card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and we are going to fold that and burnish it. And then, let me see, where is my, oh, here's my technique card. Okay, good, I got that. Hang on just a second. Then what I've got is I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is for the inside. It's four by five and a quarter. I've also got a piece of our vellum card stock that's four by five and a quarter. A scrap of Whisper White. A scrap of So Saffron. And a four a three by four inch piece of the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to, whoops, hang on, I'm losing things. There we go. We are going to die cut our flowers on the So Saffron. We're gonna run those through our die cutting machine. And when we get done with that, we're gonna have three little flowers in so saffron okay and let me put these away so I don't lose them then I'm gonna have to go grab the big shot hang on I'll be right back I've got one set up on the other side of the room you guys know I have several of these right because I did big events um, I do big events so I need more than one but I have this set up on the other side of the room for Haley to use so, where's my embossing folder? Lord help me right now. Okay, hang on. We're missing the embossing folder and I know that I had it here. Do you guys see it any place? <laughs> Could this be a repeat of last night? For... Oh my gosh, for crying out loud. I should have two embossing folders right here. Hang on, take a drink. Okay, so um, I'm going to bring in the Ornate Garden embossing folder, and this goes with the whole, whole Ornate suite. Whew. It was actually right there where I left it. It wasn't like I moved it someplace and didn't know. We're going to take that vellum cardstock. Now, this is different from vellum you buy at stores. Their vellum is really flimsy. This is very substantial, and it's thicker than that vellum, and it holds up better on a card. And I don't know that you can really emboss that chintzy vellum. And I'm kind of being, you know, a little snotty right now <laughs> because our vellum is very good quality. But um, I don't know if you can really um, emboss that other vellum because it's thinner and I think it would just crack and break. 
but because our vellum is a thicker vellum and it's very high quality, it gives you like this so, it's a very cool look. So, like I said, my technique for the month is not a barn burner of an idea, okay? But it's a really cool idea to emboss vellum and I don't use it enough because I don't think of it. So here comes my instruction sheet. So everybody that belongs to my online technique club gets a card made with the technique each month and I'm gonna make a card with this and they're gonna get that in the mail. They also get this instruction sheet that tells some brief instructions and has a sample of the technique. And this is, um, Using that Parisian embossing folder, I just wanted to do something different so they can see the difference between, you know, the folders. This one's very detailed. This one is very detailed also, but it's got some bigger um, images in it. And so when people get, are in the club for a while, this is what they end up with. And this is how I store my little um, instruction sheets. So here was an inlaid technique. Here's a 3D technique. Remember when we did the punches 3D? Here is a chalkboard technique, a color blocking technique, and then all the instructions are on each one of these cards. So I've had people that have been my technique club forever and they actually have stacks and stacks of techniques like this. So then I wanted to bring this in and show it to you. This was our technique one month. It is the chalkboard technique. So everybody got this card and this instruction sheet in the mail. And what do you have to do to belong to the technique club? You have to place an order once a month between the 1st and the 25th of a minimum of $25. And first of all, you have to tell me you want to be in the club so I can put you in the club. And then you're just going to place an order using the host code each month and um, you'll get this in the mail. You do that for six months in a row and you'll get a $30 product credit from me at the end of that. Now it has to be consecutive months and it's $25 minimum each month and it is not in combination with ordering my online classes or those bundles because you're getting special perks with those you can't double dip on the Technique Club and the online classes. So I just want to, there's no confusion there. I don't want any confusion. But here's, here's one of my Technique Club cards. Here's another one. This is a whitewash technique where we use that beautiful rose from the Christmas Rose Bundle. So everybody got this card and this Technique sheet. Here's one from last fall with a color block stamping technique. So everybody got this card and the instruction sheet. Another one using the spotlighting technique. And then we had one, oh, hang on, I'm looking for my instruction sheet here. Here's the triple time stamping or double time stamping technique. That's really cool. Oh, and I hear Steve in the kitchen, so he's gonna catch my brownies. That's good news. Here's another really cool background watercolor technique and the motion technique. So again, everybody got this card and the instruction sheet in the mail. And after you accumulate these for a while, I've seen some people that take these and put um, a hole in them and put them on a, on a ring to keep them all together. But I just happen to store them in the stamp case so that I can remember what I've done in the past. And Somebody asked me if I repeat these techniques. I haven't yet. I'm not gonna say that I never will, but I haven't repeated any techniques yet and I've been doing this for years. So, if that's something that you think you might be interested in, you need to email me. My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. Okay, let's get back to our card. Now, I'm going to take Early Espresso ink and I've already mounted my Thanks, my friend on here. We're going to stamp that on our scrap of Whisper White. And then I'm going to bring in my lovely, label me lovely. I'm going to let this dry a little bit because I smear them every once in a while. you got to let them dry just a touch when you're using Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to punch this out. And I'm going to close this up before I dip my card in it. Let me wipe my hands on my pants. <laughs> you guys know that I do that. And I'm going to get my liquid glue out. Hang on, I'm going to see if my screen is not scrolling here and everything's sticking to my computer. 
<laughs> Could be one of those nights again, you guys. I'm not going to guarantee that it isn't going to be one of those nights. Okay, Kelly, um, somebody just asked something and now my screen took it away. Kelly, do you have a price for demonstrators to purchase them from you, a bulk price for all techniques? I do not. I do not do that, but I do have a lot of my team members that are in this technique club, just like any other customer. Um, people are welcome to join. And again, if you want to be in the club, you have to put in a $25 minimum order in my online store. And I do have a lot of other demonstrators that aren't on my team in my technique club because they so love having the ideas and the technique instruction cards. So that's a really good question, Joe. But I do not sell these cards um, outside of the club. It is, a, it is a very unique thing for only club members to get. And, but anybody can join the club. And quite frankly, um, what I could charge for that, and I don't mean to sound like snotty or anything, but it's just not worth my time, what I would, the time it takes me to make these and the time that the money I would make off of them, it's not, it's not worth my time. So that's why I don't do it. And again, I don't mean to sound snotty, but it is what it is, right? Sometimes it's just you need the truth is the truth. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But I'm going to take some liquid glue right here, and I'm going to add this only to the middle of my embossed layer. And I'm doing that because I'm going to cover that middle up with my designer series paper. And then there's no chance that anybody's going to see the adhesive through the um, vellum. Now I'm going to bring in this three by four inch piece of designer series paper and we're going to put that right in the middle. Okay, and ribbon. Where did my ribbon go? Right here. So I'm using the combo pack that's part of the ornate garden. You get the old olive and the Calypso, is it, no, terracotta tile ribbon. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to tie it around here. I really like this ribbon. It's very soft and um, uh, manipulates quite easily. I was going to say soft and subtle, but I don't know if that's really the word I need to be using. <laughs> Not that it's naughty or anything, but ooh, I hear things, I hear things rumbling in my kitchen, you guys. I'm so excited being locked at home and not being able to go any place. And it's like we have company coming over, kind of, right? I'm really excited about tonight. And I want brownies with ice cream. And I might put hot fudge on them, too. Yeah. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're just going to take this little bugger and we're going to put it right on here. And is that not super duper easy? Three by four inch piece of designer paper embossed vellum, a little piece of ribbon, and some type of a greeting sentiment punched um, element right here. And then I thought bringing those flowers in pulled a little of the so saffron out of that. Now, the inside of my card, I was kind of thinking, what am I going to do with the inside? Did I tell you guys? Yeah, this is Blushing Bride, which is, seems like a weird color to pick, but I think you'll like the rest of the cards that I made too. For the inside of my... Um, layer, I just decided that a little bit of this flower, big flower stamp, would be really pretty. Now, isn't that going to be just uh, so simple, right? Simple, but very pretty. Okay, and Candy just said, I'm a new discount shopper and card maker, so I would love to learn more about joining the Technique Club. I will post a link. There's a link on my blog in the right-hand column that says Technique Club, but I will post that link as soon as we're done with this live so everybody has access to it and you can find it easily. Okay, last thing I'm looking for here is my embellishments. And they were just right here. And now they're not. Did you guys see those gold? Those um, gilded gems? Oh, here they are. They were under my designer paper. Okay, I am going to grab my take your pick tool 
And I'm using the spatula end. I just found that that works really good for these. They're kind of um, a little tricky to get off with the pokey end of this tool, but I just thought maybe a little gilded gem on there kind of spruces things up a little bit, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you. Oh, we have some, well, I'm not gonna do the insides right now. I'll finish those up, but um, this, is, this is what my online technique club is going to be getting for March. So we're done with this. Everybody has already placed their orders by March 25th, and now we're gonna be on to April. And I don't know what April's technique is gonna be, but it'll be cool, cause like, I make cool things. <laughs> Now that with that. <laughs> I didn't mean to be snotty before, but that was a little arrogant. <laughs> but this is what they're going to get in the mail for placing their orders in March. So let me show you the other cards that I made. Because I did a little bit different. So with this one, get the stuff out of the bride flowers on here. I didn't get my um, gem on here. And I don't think I'm going to put the gems on the ones that I'm mailing out because it will poke holes in the envelope. We'll see, maybe I will. Um, and I have to see how many I have. I probably will, because I like them to be, you know, I like them to be really nice. This one uses the daisy paper on it and all the same colors for everything else. This one uses the green paper. Everything else is the same. And then I chose the um, crushed curry. Now this color, this yellow color in here is really called Bumblebee, but that's one of our new colors coming out in the annual catalog, which reminds me, you guys, everybody who has placed a $50 order with me in the last six months will be on my mailing list for the new annual catalog that comes out at the beginning of June for customers. And I'm going to have it shipped directly from Stampin' Up to all of you that have done that. There's still time to get your name on my mailing list to get those catalogs right away when they come out. All you have to do is place a minimum $50 order with me and you'll get on that list. I have to finalize that list by the end of the month, the end of April. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows. Um, I will probably put a post out there in not too long about who wants the catalog. Now, if you've already ordered over 100, or if you've already ordered over $50 from me, you don't need to say, I want the catalog. You're already going to get it. Okay. So I just want you to know that, that you don't have to go, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss the catalog. You're not going to miss it. I'm going to get you a catalog. All right. So there's another one that I made. And then I have some fancy pants ones. These, with my hair stuck in there, <laughs> these use that gold layer of paper. Let me grab this. The gold specialty, there's two different patterns. I used this one and I put a gold layer behind it with that label me lovely punch of gold foil and then my flowers are gold foil. I stamped my sentiment in Blushing Bride. Isn't that pretty? And I used the gold metallic edged ribbon instead of the green. I just didn't think the green would really, I don't know, flow with this. And then I did the same thing with the other pattern. We've got all the flowers in this one and then just these little whatever they are. V uh, they look like violets, don't they? I think, I don't know. Um, impatience maybe, maybe they're impatience. But anyways, these are just, just a little different in that they have all the gold on them. And one thing that I really love about this bundle is this Ornate Thanks stamp set. There's so much in here. And yeah, it is all about thanks, but you can, you know, be grateful for your friend. Um, your kindness is so loved. You're amazing. That doesn't have to be thanks for anything, but you're just amazing. So, so grateful that you're amazing, right? So yeah, I really, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay, so these are the cards for tonight. And again, um, I am probably going to walk away now and enjoy the rest of my evening. If anybody would like to place an order for any of these products, don't forget, when you order the suite from me, it's $136 and I think 75 cents. When you order the suite from me, you also get an 18 file PDF file filled with 18 more ideas using the ornate suite and you get a six project file with exclusive video tutorials along with dimensions and ingredients and the whole thing um, so you get two things from me when you order the suite from me 
When you place an order with me, you're going to get the six file video tutorial. When you order the suite, you get both of those files. And you'll get a pre-cut cardstock pack. To make my next online class, this is my April online class, you'll get that pre-cut cardstock pack for, I think there's eight cards in there, a box, and four cards for the box. So that's really cool. And you get the online class for free. So when you order the suite from me, there's a whole bunch of goodies that go with that. Um, I'm going to flip you around now because I don't think I have any other reason to keep you down on my table. And you know that I hate talking to the back of your head. Look how sunny it is today. So, whoops. Hang on. You almost got away from me. So today in Menasha, Wisconsin, like we're sitting here and all of a sudden we look out the window. It is snowing. It's like snow squalls today. It was the craziest thing ever. We're like, what is going on? But it, it didn't accumulate. Then it melted. And then a little while later, it'd be snowing all over the place again. It's been kind of weird and crummy here today. It's cold. It's windy. My house is smoked up with ribs. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, what else is happening? I don't know. I had a note. Oh, I got through all my emails last night. So, if you emailed me and I didn't answer you, I missed it by accident. But I I was going to go to bed last night, kind of when I got done here. And then I'm like, well, around 10 o'clock. And then I'm like, no, I need to get through these emails. I actually had five pages of emails and my email system has a hundred emails on each page so I had to sort through 500 emails to get done and, and mind you I do not read all of those lots of them are like I'm subscribed to blogs or I'm um, credit karma is sending me something or or they actually told me that my taxes they were ready for my taxes at um turbo tax and I'm like I'm not ready for my taxes <laughs> I have to get those done here quickly too. I know they're not due on the 15th. I know they're due in July, but guess what? I am a procrastinator and I am not dragging that out till July and I have to pay quarterly taxes. So I need to get my numbers in order and get to my tax guy. So I know I could figure this all out, but I don't want to. I just, I, I don't want to figure out what my quarterly taxes are. I just want him to take care of it and give me the forms and I mail it to the IRS. <laughs> I'm lazy like that. Remember the story about the chiropractor and how I won't do the exercises because they're supposed to fix me? This is kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. I know. I'm weird like that. Did I do a prize tonight? I didn't, Kathy. I did not have time to get online and pick a winner. So we'll take care of that tomorrow too. But thank you for asking and reminding me. And I won't forget. <laughs> Sam, I'm happy to see you here. Sam is a demonstrator in San Diego. And I met her at like one of the first conventions I went to, I think. And we just, we connect at every convention. She's, I love her. And she just said she's in the same boat with the taxes. I know. I'm, I'm, I hate doing them. They're hateful. And I actually have an accounting background. So that's a little embarrassing. I hate taxes. I hate paying them. I hate doing them. And Heather goes, OMG, that's a lot of emails. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. When I said I was behind on my emails, I really meant it. What's up, honey? How long till uh, cheesy hash browns? Are they can just stay in there. They're they're fine. They're not burning or anything, right? No, just leave them in there. They're great. Let's hold the brownies. Brownies look good? I don't know. Can you stick a toothpick in them and see that it comes out clean? And I'm almost done. <laughs> How long for the cheesy hash browns, he wanted to know. <laughs> now I have to go tell him I broke his iPad. <laughs> oh, he was so mad. Yeah, he'll be fine. I'll buy him a new one. He knows I will. I bought his annual hunting license today, so I guess maybe I was buttering him up for what was to follow. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Anyways, you guys, um, I know I've got cheesy hash browns in the oven, and it's funny because Haley doesn't like, I usually mix melted butter with cornflakes and pour that on top of them. Mmm, so good, right? Who doesn't like that? Haley. So, tonight we put, I sprinkled shake and bake on top of them, and I think that's going to be delightful, too. I think I'll enjoy it also. But, um, yeah, so since we're having them over for dinner, I wanted to make sure we had something that she would like to eat, and she likes ribs, and she... Finally, we'll eat the cheesy hash browns. It took a long, 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 long time, just like in the last year or so. <laughs> yeah. Leave the camera on so we can hear. Oh, I don't think you want to see that. 
that's never a good idea here. But I'll tell you all about it. If you remind me, I'll probably forget by tomorrow that I um, had to tell Steve I broke his iPad. I'll probably forget. Unless he has some just crazy reaction, which I doubt because he, he doesn't get too excited about stuff like that. But um, I'm looking for my hand lotion. My hands feel really crispy. I'm going to let you guys go so I can go in and shave some chocolate to put sprinkle on the ice cream when I do the brownies with the ice cream. Yeah, I like doing fancy things like that. And a lot of times they're a Pinterest fail. You see the pictures on Pinterest where we have like this gorgeous little bunny cake and then somebody really makes it and it looks like a glob of snow. <laughs> That's what some of my stuff looks like, but it always tastes good. <laughs> so I call that the Pinterest fail. Yeah. Cranberry broad, broad, broad loaf. That sounds really good. I would eat that. I'll eat anything pretty much. Except potato soup. I don't like that. And Haley's on her way over, you guys. I'm going to let you go. I will see you back here tomorrow, and I will not be in a great big old hairy hurry. Yeah. Enjoy your evening, and thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy my family time, you guys. Make sure you share this video. Give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button. That really helps me. Share the video so that I can um, grow my business. If you share it on your Facebook page. You never know who's one of your friends that might be interested in joining us for some good, clean, family fun with me. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have an amazing dinner. We are going to do that. And um, I will show you Haley's scrapbook pages tomorrow when I have more time because I do want to drool over them. She'll probably have page number two done by then, too. So that's always good. Have a good Thursday evening, and I will see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.